The tenth iteration of Talisman Saber marks a significant milestone in this biennial exercise aimed at promoting a free and open Indo-Pacific region. The exercise is designed to enhance cooperation and interoperability among key allies, and whether it is called Talisman Saber or Talisman Saber depends on whether Australia or the US is leading the effort. This information is reported by Joseph Clark from the US Department of Defense. Thirteen nations, including Japan and Germany, are actively participating in this year's comprehensive 15-day exercise. It encompasses large-scale logistics, amphibious assault training operations, multinational firepower demonstrations, and field training exercises. Notably, several Pacific Island partners such as Papua New Guinea, Fiji, and Tonga are taking part for the first time. During the field training portion of the exercise, 10 nations will join forces to face an adversary specifically designed to pose a formidable challenge to the coalition forces in all aspects of warfare, encompassing space, cyber, land, maritime, and air capabilities. The objective is to prepare the coalition partners, including Australia and the United States, to deal with peer threats effectively. U.S. Army Colonel Ben Martin, the operations commander for the Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center, emphasizes the importance of implementing the most recent doctrines of both countries in a realistic and dynamic training environment. He views these large-scale exercises as critical for building readiness and preparedness for future conflicts, inducing stress and challenges similar to real combat scenarios. The exercises planning and execution have been a joint effort involving both US and Australian planners, resulting in a meticulously crafted training environment. For weeks leading up to the exercise, participating countries have worked tirelessly to move equipment into the theater, deploying a range of capabilities on a large scale for the first time. The full exercise involves 30,000 troops, with 10,000 engaged in the field portion. McLennan, a key figure in the exercise, sees this training as a powerful demonstration of collective resolve among participating nations to operate together, and preserve the rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific. The exercise signifies a significant milestone in the long-standing alliance between the United States and Australia, ushering in a new chapter of cooperation, learning, and unified action.